Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. On this video, we will talk about the Aviva Edge Tag Integration Interface, specifically the ABCAP or RS Logix 5000 Tag Integration Interface, which allows you to integrate the Aviva Edge project with your uh, Logix Designer or RS Logix 5000 uh, project, PLC program project. Uh, so you can use on the Aviva Edge project all the tags, all the structures that you might have created on the PLC side. Uh, this will allow you to save some development time and will make the integration very simple. So that's what we will do today. And I will start by showing you how usually we, we do this kind of integration between the Allen Riley PLC and Aviva Edge. So I will start with creating a new project, ABCAP. That will be the name of my project. Uh, let me select something here for the product, product type. Okay, that's the correct resolution. Okay, and the security system. I don't need a security system. Uh, something else that I don't need is uh, the viewer module. So I will just disable the viewer module because I don't want a gray screen starting when I start the runtime. And when you want to integrate an ABC AP, oh, sorry, an Allen Bradley um, controller, you need to add the ABC AP driver to your project. In the ABC AP driver, you can use the main driver sheet or create the standard driver sheet. But I will use the main driver sheet and, and you can there, create a couple tags and uh, link this with the PLC IP address and backplane slot number. Um, and that's something that I can get from here. So the backplane number is zero, and we I will use just the IP address then. So 10, 2 to 9, 12, 6, 10, 2 to 9, 2, 0, 6, 64. IP address for my tags, all tags, and I need to type the, the name of uh, my PLC tags. So team A, team B, I don't know the names. I will select a couple of double integer tags that I have here in my controller tags. Can be also program tag, but to make it simple, I'm selecting just the controller tags for now. So let's work with this tri set. So I will copy tri set, paste it here. Uh, let's select another tag. Um, this tray print bean. Let's copy it and paste it here. So if I save the changes, I enable here the uh, if you read comments with date and time, just to see what's happening in the background in the communications, uh, and I start the runtime, we we'll see here that we are reading correctly the tags from the PLC. If I put the tags here in the watch window, uh, you will see the tag, the tax values. So no more, no, not so much science there. It's very straightforward, but the complication here is that you will need to type the, or <laughs> somehow create the, the IO addresses and define this for all of your tags. Even if you have a very long tag, a very complex structure, a UDT with a lot of nested tags on it and arrays and arrays and nested arrays, uh, all that uh, will be need to be typed here. So you might in, end up with very long IO addresses and you will need to find a way to make it simpler. But we, we created a way to make it simpler in fact, which is the tag integration interface. So to use the tag integration interface, the first thing that you need to do is go to your uh, PLC program. Here in the Logix Designer, you can use also RS Logix 5000. I'm using Logix Designer because of the PLC firmware version. Uh, but here you should go to File, you should go to Save As. And here you should select in the file type uh, the L5K file, which is the Logix Designer import export file. You can keep the, the PLC program name or you can put my PLC 
tags or anything there and save. It will ask you if you want to upload the tags from the controller, but uh, I don't really want to do that. I have everything synchronized. So it will start to export all the information from your PLC project into the L5K file. And this file is what Aviva Edge uses to create a, or to put available in the Aviva Edge project, the PLC tags. So depending on your uh, PLC project, this process, this exporting process might take some seconds or might take several minutes. This project is not so big, so it might take some seconds only. After having the exporting finished, if you go to the folder where you saved it, you will find the file and I can copy the file and move it to my computer where I have a Viva Edge. So the recommendation is to put the L5K file in a folder inside the project folder, which is the config folder. So I will put it there. This is my file. And after that, you can go to, to the uh, Vibach Studio. I will close this. Uh, oh, I want to keep it open because I want to do some information for here. And uh, right click on the project root, go to settings, uh, go to communication, uh, go to tech integration here, click on the add button, select the provider. By the way, Avivage has uh, several options here for several brands to do exactly the same thing, the tech integration interface, but I will select Eros Logics 5000 family because that's what we are doing here, what we are using. The name, you can leave it by default. Uh, I can change it by PLC1, let's say. It will be my first PLC to integrate. Uh, the PLC IP address is the next thing that I need to, to define here. It's the same thing like in the driver sheet. So it's 10, 2 to 9, 206, 64. The slot number, which, well, it's zero. We saw that some seconds ago. In the L5K file path, I can click on Browse. And you can select or navigate into your project and go into the config folder on it and select your L5K file file. And after that, click on OK. Then click on OK one more time. And in the background, Habiba Edge will start to create a catch file which will have all your PLC tags. So how you can uh, check that very quick, if you right click here on the tag expression column in one of the fields here, you do a right click and you select insert tag or expression. Another option is uh, just double clicking on any empty, empty space here. So you can double click and it will open object finder. So in the object finder, you will have now a new tax uh, source, which is devices. And in devices, you will have the tag integration source that you created. So depending on the, PL, on the PLC program size, uh, the, 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 the data source loading might take several minutes, some seconds, a couple of seconds, or it might be instantly. So here we have the data source loaded now. As you can see, um, we can even uh, navigate uh, through it to access to complex structures and to members of complex, complex nested structures in your PLC project. So what I will do now is I will import a couple of tags that are here. I will import the same tags. So I will compare the, the behavior. So you can type here, try set and you will find the tag. So you only need to select it and double click on it or click on import selected tags, but both options do the same thing. And if you do that, the tag will be imported into your PLC project. I need you to check this tag count. Okay, tag count is three right now. So if I do the same for another tag, let's say for um, try prime beam, And I click on import selected tags. You will see that tag count increases by one. That's because what I am doing is basically adding tags into my project without creating 
the tax manually. I'm importing this from the PLC project. So I tagged, I have the tags. These tags are not inserted into the project tags database. These projects, these, these tags instead are inserted into the shared database. So if I open the shared database, I will be able to see the tags that I imported. But anyways, these tags also count on your license, so, so consider that. Uh, okay, so after having that, I will start the runtime. And what you will see here is that these tags have exactly the same values than the tags that I created using the ABCIP driver because we're pointing exactly to the same thing, but we are doing it in a different way, in a more simplified way. And here we are basically having to uh, read comments, one for the driver sheet and the other one for the tag integration interface. So that's it. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a very straightforward way to import tax from Allen Bradley PLCs into your project. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave that in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video.